Hello there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see how to do minimal APIs with ABP. Minimal API is a new feature in .NET 6. It is aimed at new developers coming into the .NET ecosystem where they can quickly create an API uh, with few lines of code. In this video, we will see how to create a minimal API with the ABP. We will do a very simple uh, Hello World um, ABP application. Um, it will be an API endpoint which just says Hello World. And we will try to keep it as small as possible. Actually, the current um, demo app I created is just 40 lines of code. Um, to get started, um, I have created the blog post. In the blog post, we have all the steps which we are going to do right now. You can follow along with the blog post or continue with the video. We will have the blog post in the description of this video. And also you will find the source code in the description. The source code will be a GitHub link. Okay, let's get started. Here I have an empty folder. The first prerequisite is you have .NET 6 installed. To know that, just type .NET and you will see a help message. And then you type .NET dash dash info. Here you can see I have a lot of .NET versions um, available. I have .NET 3, .NET 5 an RC version of .NET and then two latest versions of .NET 6. Make sure your version is 6 because this minimal API feature is only available in .NET 6. Once you have .NET 6 installed, we are ready to go. I will clear and um, you can type .NET new web, give it a name, hello world. This will create a hello world folder. Uh, now just cd into hello world. So you can see this is a very simple, um, this is a very simple C sharp application. We have just a program.cs file here and a csproj file with the uh, app.json. There is nothing else available. Let's open it up in VS Code. Okay, you can now check out what is available in the program.cs. In the program.cs, we have a very simple hello world output on the default route. And uh, it is using a new uh, web application create builder method to build the app and also run the app. We are kind of going to do the similar thing, but with ABP in mind. So let's remove this and go back to the article first we have to install the abp packages so let's do that the packages we are going to install is autofac autofac is for dependency injection abp core is for the abp code modularity and aspnet core is for the aspnet functions and mvc is for mvc functions so just add all the four packages just copy them and then go back to the uh, project paste and then run .NET add and this will add the Nougat packages. Just do that for core as well. Now install the ASP.NET Core and then the ASP.NET Core MVC. Okay, so if you come back here, you will see we have four packages installed. Now let's go and start creating our module. This is our minimal module and you can see the module depends on ASP.NET Core module and also the AutoFact module. AutoFact is used for dependency injection, ASP.NET Core is for the default functionalities. And in the um, configure service method, we are just adding the add assembly of a minimal module. What this is going to do is it will set up the dependency injection for the minimal module. Let's copy this and paste it. Okay, we have our depends on. Let's import modularity and MVC and artifact. 
Okay, we have our module. Now let's create a hello world service. We are going to do everything in a single file, make it as small as possible. I don't use any dependency injection. Okay, so in the service, we are using a transient dependency so that it automatically registers uh, in the auto fact dependency injection. And we have one method which says, say, which is called say hi and returns hi from service. A very simple hello world service. Uh, as you can see, we already have consumed 24 lines. And now is create the application. So uh, first is to create the builder and then add application as a main module. So first let's uh, copy this and then paste it here. So this uh, create builder is the new um, web application builder. Uh, in the builder, we are saying uh, to use autofac and we are replacing the current service configuration uh, here with the builder.configuration because then it will register autofac as a DI container, not uh, the inbuilt .NET Core DI container. And once that is done, we are adding minimal module as an application. Now the next step is to create our minimal API app. Okay, so we have our app builder here. So we are building the app and in the app you can um, map the API request. Our API is just called hi and we are doing the depend dependency injection for hello service and then we are returning say hi method the say hi method is here which returns hi from service which is a string and once that is done we are initializing the application and then running it that's it uh, we have our very basic hello world minimal api application and it's just 40 lines of code uh, we did uh, create our own custom service we created our own module and then used it in the minimal API. Uh, there is no need uh, to put everything in the program.cs. You can actually keep um, the hello service in a separate file and minimal module in a separate file and then this keep this file clean. But I'm just uh, doing it here so that people can understand uh, everything in a single file so that you don't have to move, move into different files. Um, this is one of the new C -sharp 10 features. Um, where we are using global uh, we are um, using global usings and reducing a lot of boilerplate in the new template okay now let's restore the project and run it okay our app is running right now now navigate to hi and you have hi from service can see here we went to the request slash hi and we got the return as hi from service yes um this is a very simple introduction uh in the next video we will see how to do um CRUD operations and also we will see how to set up a swagger ui so that you can find out all the apis available in your minimal application okay that is that's it for this video uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can get the future updates see you soon bye bye